Hey guys, Cisco Voice Dude here again with another uh, UCCX scripting video. I've been playing around with prompts tonight and I've made some videos on container prompts and generated prompts and we've talked about how to use menus and how to play with variables and some of the best practices for creating scripts. I wanted to kind of combine a few of the things we've done together here and show you what's possible with some of the fundamentals that we've learned and add a little bit more to it so that uh, you can continue to increase the depth of your UCCX scripting uh, tool belt. The script that I've written here that you're staring at, I'm calling it a counting script. And what it's built to do is really tie together a bunch of the things we've done. I'm using, obviously, the accept call uh, tool. We're using a main menu. We're using an integer variable called counter variable, and we're going to do a little bit of math on that and make the integer larger and smaller. And we're using a generated prompt to turn that integer value of the counter variable into a system spoken prompt so it can be read back to you. We're also creating a container prompt to add, you know, me speaking. You know, the, the prompt value is, or the, the counter variable is, and then the counter value that the system's generating. So we're doing a couple of cool things here. Um, I mentioned to you, I think it was in the last video, about you know some housekeeping items and how to keep things clean in your programming. I want to show you a few things that I'm doing here that I tend to do in production scripts and uh, you know, give you an idea how I code things. You'll see up on the main menu, I've given the menu a label of main menu. I've given the uh, set contact info of handled a terminate label. After I set the contact as handled, I terminate the contact and then I do the end. You know, this is something I've also not shown you yet. I'm trying to build on your skills here a little bit at a time. So this is starting to take the structure of more of a production script that I would use. So in essence, what's going to happen is we're going to connect. It's going to give us a greeting, you know, prompt main menu. It's going to tell us to press 1 to increment the counter and press 2 to decrement the counter. If you look at the counter variable right there, it starts as 0. So every time we call and hang up, you know, we're going to start over at 0 again. And uh, then we're going to create a prompt based on the value. Then we're going to create a container prompt where I'm saying the value is, and then we're going to read the value. And then we're going to play that prompt, and then we're going to go back to the main menu and loop and do this all over again. So let me go ahead and do a reactive debug. Actually, let me do a validate first. Script validation succeeded. Let's do a reactive debug on this script here and counting. And we'll take a look at how this works. So 7,000. I'm just going to hit play and let this kind of go on its own. Press 1 to increment the counter value. Press 2 to decrement the counter value. I'll press 1. The counter value is 1. Press 1 to increment the counter value. We'll press 1 again. Press 2 to decrement the counter value. The counter value is 2. Press 1 to increment the counter value. The counter value is 3. Now I'm going to press, press 2. Press 1 to increment the counter value. The counter value is 2. Press 1 to increment the counter value. The counter value is 1. Press 1 to increment the, the counter value is 0. Now check this out. Press 1 to increment the counter I'm going to press 2. We're press at 0 two now. The counter value is negative 1. Press 1. The counter value is negative 2. So check that out. So not only are we able to account above 0, we're able to go below 0, and it's going to give us negative values. So I don't know if you noticed it, but uh, as this was going through here, the counter variable was uh, changing values as well. So you can see how things were currently set. Counting can be useful for lots of different things. Um, maybe you want to count the number of times that you've gone through a menu and looped. And, you know, maybe you only want uh, greetings or recordings to repeat three times. Or, you know, really the, the possibilities of how to use an integer and do counting are endless. And... Uh, you know, this is starting to bring together some of the various uh, techniques we've looked at and start to show you what a more complete script can look like. Anyway, play with it, see what you can do, and uh, 
If you have any more ideas for scripts or anything you'd like to see, send it my way and we'll keep the content coming. I've got a lot of ideas and uh, I'm going to try to introduce them slowly here. I'm forcing myself to cover the fundamentals first before going uh, crazy into some uh, full-blown IVRs. But uh, I'll uh, have more videos coming and again, please keep the comments and uh, let me know what you think and we'll talk to you soon. Voice Dude out.